What's up everybody welcome to another video on my channel and this is actually a new playlist so if you kind of notice for the little piece of people that are here I've kind of like arranged every video on my page and everything I just literally mumbled all the tutorial videos into one playlist tutorials it's kind of like I just like, take used stuff and you use anyone just throw it in the wardrobe <laughs> but anyway Shoot, I forgot what I wanted to say. Okay, so in hopes that I can maintain a playlist. <laughs> because this YouTube thing is something that I've been saying I wanted to do for almost five years now, since I left secondary school. I don't know what you US slash UK or whatever people call your schooling system. <laughs> but it's not as if you guys even care. How many people am I talking to? <laughs> but anyway, I'm trying to create something that can last. Right? This is something that I do almost every time, which is I literally just look at pictures and I put it in <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a professional photographer or videographer or whatever. Neither am I some top tier gifted. <laughs> I literally started photography like three or four years ago. Before I'm going to look at pictures now, I probably could have 10 years, 15 years of experience. Me, photography is just something I like doing. For these people, it's their life. <laughs> so, little disclaimer I'm not the best. I'm not really, I'm, I'm literally not good. I mean, that explains why I have 1,000 or something followers. <laughs> I don't have a lot of followers because I don't have crazy good content. But it's fun. And that's what I'm trying to share with you guys. Right? I'm going to be looking at pictures and I'm going to be trying to, I'm going to be looking at the good sides. Oh, bah! I'm going to be looking at what I like and what I don't like, and yeah, dude, <laughs> that's literally it. So it's kind of like meme review, TikTok review, whatever other type of review there is. But this is Instagram review, okay? I've not seen anybody do it, so it's my, it's my, it's our thing, alright? Good. So initially, I was following about. 800 and something people then I was thinking there's no way I'm going to look through 800 and something users on Instagram like <laughs> you literally have one person post like six or five, <laughs> five different posts in a day so let's assume like one person posts at least two posts a day and I'm here at 800 no I don't know how you guys with 1000 and something from them um, following or whatever, do it. You guys are the real OGs. <laughs> I can't do that. Even if I, I managed to drop to 500 and it's still much. Jesus Christ. And I, I don't think I've ever gone through an entire day's post of like the people I follow because it's too much. I have to follow a lot of people, even like people that are really good. And I just stop, kept the people that are somehow similar to my niche or people that are following me. So. I'm not sure where I'm going to be getting content from, probably from my home page or from the Explore. I feel the Explore would be better because if you are also photographers, there, there are probably there are chances that the people are going to see and people that you've probably seen or you will see. But I don't know. Home or Explore, we will check it out. We will check it out. We will check it out, but yeah, like I said, let's. Um, I'm trying to start. <laughs> I'm trying to start recording. Uh, three, two, one, go. Let's check it out. Let's make sure. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I've already seen this. So let's refresh. Let's okay slow. And for you guys, yeah, this is my page. As you can see, 1,105, it's not like I'm a big deal or anything. I mean, look at this. Look, just look at this. This, this is bad. This is horrible. <laughs> but there are some that I like, like this one. But it's not about me, guys. It's not about me. Stop asking questions. Stop, 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 stop trying to make it all about me, okay? Let's move to... Why are you not restarting or refreshing? Jeez. Um, okay. 
Let's open slow. This is Nigeria. Look how we live it now. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be singing that on YouTube. <laughs> okay. It has refused to refresh, so I'm not going to skip that. And okay, this is not that that, that person is following me. She's a friend. She's not doing photographs. Okay. Like. Right. Okay. So first off, black and white. Come on, bruv. That, that, that's dear to my heart. <laughs> Even though I can't pull off proper black and white images, I always appreciate it when I see other people's black and white. But first thing I'm noticing is this little shine of his cheeks. It's a little bit too bright compared to every other thing. I feel that's too bright. If it drops, you can just create a mask in that area and drop the highlights a bit. That will probably work. Then the shadows are probably a bit too dark. And if you're going to make something dark and you want it to be artistic, then make it really dark. Like there's no in-betweens, I feel. And it feels like there are in-betweens. Like it feels like he didn't want it to be all to be really black. And it just kind of like left it so many. I feel. Either you make that really dark or you bring up the exposure a bit more. Overall, I think that I do not, I do not like this shadow that's extended from his back. I don't like that. Um, and yeah, like I said, the shadows. Uh, it feels a little bit too black. Like it's too dark. Like he crushed it, like crazy crushing, crazy crushing. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty good. I like it. And it's good for someone's birthday. Oh, right. David Afonayo. Real OG, you guys should check him out. Man. He makes some crazy good crazy. He's actually an inspiration for me. For real. A little water mark there, not to distract him. Better than some that I've seen. This guy is my photographer. This is why I'm not really sure I want to use my home page because I don't follow just one. Okay. Bro. Oh, this is. This is nice. Much about this type of Although, I will say that in terms of spacing, proximity, that's a graphic design term by the way. <laughs> in terms of spacing and proximity, I'd say this first image here, she's a little bit too slanted forward. I feel like bring her back a little bit, like let her. I guess you're trying to show off the hair and all, but I mean, this hair is. Like, it's, it's crazy enough, bro. <laughs> it's crazy enough that I don't think. Like, look at these other images. Although this one, she's slightly turned her head. But if it's profile view of this hair, is going to show well. So, like, her tilting forward, I feel it's a little bit too. Yeah, like, you just have too much space behind her. Like, the only time that I see this type of composition is when someone's trying to remember something. Or it's usually kind of like a very thoughtful emotion. This just, yeah. I love the image, by the way. Like, I'm not saying it's not that, I'm just saying the composition. There's really not much I can say about this. Like I said, I'm not a crazy good photographer. So we are all learning, right? I'm looking at things I don't like, I'm looking at things I like. Hopefully, you guys tell me what you don't like and what you like as well. I want to learn, okay? I want to know what's good, what's bad, what to avoid. This world of photography is difficult, bro. It's difficult. I I think out of all of them, the middle one is one I like most. I think. Although I don't really like the fact that her hand is going off. Why can't I zoom? Her hand is going off the off the table. I don't I don't think I like that. But and I don't. Like, I feel like she's hiding her hands a little bit too much, especially in these last two. Like, for this last one, if her arm was in front of the elbow, I feel that's something that could have been tried out. He probably did try it out and it didn't work. I don't know. But yeah, should I be rating these things, by the way? Should I be rating them? Okay, let's go back to the first one. I'll give this a. 
based on the images I've seen before, black and white, I'll give this a 5.6. 5.6. I'll give this. I don't know, fam. I'm not good at rating things. Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. I'll give this a. I don't know. I don't know. Six. I don't know, man. I'll give that a six. Sure, why not? Okay, so from the same person, a little bit more zoomed in. Yeah, it's Instagram. Really crushing people's images. You can see the band, you know. Um, okay, so uh, I really don't know what to say, man. I, I don't know what to say about this. Let's see the other image. I don't know what to say about this. I actually like it. Like, I don't think there's anything I would change. Maybe using, uh, her nose looks a little bit bent. So if you are that type of photographer, maybe using liquify to straighten the nose. But I, I, I don't use liquify. I mean, people's facial features are the way they are. I don't like messing with it. I think I like this, it's not bad. I can see a little bit of pink on the cheeks. I think that's blush or something. Then, this is more of like a personal thing. I just don't like long eyelashes that. Like, it looks weird, but, bruv, this is actually pretty good. Like, I'll give this a 6.5. 6.5. Mm hmm. Okay, so this guy is also a photographer, but it's not like, you know, it's not, it's not a studio photographer. Well, I've seen this, okay, first of all, <laughs> I've seen this post so many times, a lot of Nigerians have been using it. I don't know why. Uh, it, it doesn't look natural at all. At all. And, um, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like you could have propped in a little bit to get rid of the grass, kind of something like this. Like, I feel that would be better so that I don't see that sky. That sky is distracting. Because the first thing you look at is that top part. And it's not even straight in it. So, like, you just be looking at it. So, I feel propping it like this would have been better than giving him a little bit more space in the front. Something like this. I feel. Like, just work on your prop, bro. On the prop. I think that that's the biggest issue I have with this. And um, yeah, straighten out his cloth. Cloth, cloth, cloth. How do you how do you pronounce that word? Cloth, cloth. How do you pronounce cloth? Cloth. Cloth, cloth. Why is Google doing me like this? Cloth. 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 Why is that lips moving like that? Cloth. 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 What? Cloth. 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 I'm taking it as cloth. Oh. Oh, shoot. Screen went off. Uh, okay. Two, okay, we're back, baby. We back. So it's cloth, cl cloth, cloth. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, framing, straightening up his cloth, it looks wrong. Like it, that's that's my flattery look, first of all. So straighten it up, uh, change the pose, crop it well. Straighten it a little bit more. I, I don't know if it's straight. I think it, it's straightening things is a problem for me. 
Because I like things being perfect. I don't know why my eyes is... I feel it's because of this top bit, that sky portion that is not straight. So it's affecting my eyes. It's making the whole image not look straight. I think it actually straightened it. It's not bad, okay. So yeah, change the pose, straighten up the skull, make it look decent. Like, decent, Jesus Christ. Make it look straight, like smooth, clean. Make it look that he's actually showing us what he's wearing, not just the side. Because I can't actually see the t-shirt. Well, I'm assuming it's more like a fashion, fashion shirt. Because, yeah, that's literally the only interesting thing here. And then the crop. I don't see that guy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll give this a five. Five. Not bad. Sasha Ivanovich. She's a street photographer. Yeah. And this isn't bad. I should like this. Same thing here. I'll say here is just crop. I don't like that top bit. You could just crop it a little bit more like that. As you can see, I don't even think it's I think it's true. I don't know, I just love this image. It feels peaceful. There's something about this image I just like. But yeah, just crop the top. Remove that excess. And that is solid image here. Solid image. I like this. I'll give this a six. Six. Then this. Oh, bro. Okay, I love. Oh, he's back again. This are crazy, bro. Yo, especially this one. Yo, I'm giving this an eight. Eight. How do you pronounce it? I'm not a fool. Go away. I'm giving this an 8 man. I'm even going to comment. Yo, these are sick. These are sick shots, man. Love. Then the content. Should I put hats in Ah, I don't know. Post. 8. Solid 8 over 10. Let's move on. Oh. Yo, bro, just drop the clarity like hardcore things. Clarity is too low, like, bro. It's too low. <laughs> it's looking weird, like, seriously weird. Like, the thing about dropping your clarity is it doesn't do it well in a way that everything is uniform. Because in an actual image, some parts have more contrast, some parts have more clarity than others. So when you drop the overall clarity, right, it's affecting the entire image. So what you get is some parts of the image looking really buttery and milky and smooth. And some parts that were that had a lot more clarity would still have more clarity, but then it's going to be a lot more obvious. Especially with the hair. So like I don't really recommend dropping your clarity really low. It makes it look weird, especially with the hair and especially with eyelashes. Like, don't do that, bro. But if I'm going to rate this, I don't know, man. Maybe 4.5. 4.5? <laughs> I don't know. The major issue I'm having here is the clarity, and I can I can understand that you don't have full control over everything that is going on around you. But, bro, <laughs> it's literally just one dude in the background. I thought you could have adjusted yourself or waited for the guy to move or told the guy to literally move. Bruh. Okay guys, I made a new mistake. So I actually forgot that there's like a 20 minutes time time or something. <laughs> 20 minutes has passed a long time ago. And I continue talking. Did you record it? Ah, oh no! I have gone through so many images. Oh my god! I haven't found a trend. I found a trend. Let me see if I can actually bring. I found a trend or like creative photography. Like I've seen two images, and it has to be a trend. 
just two images, like maybe it's still something that is new. I'll show you. Oh shoot, everything will reset. Did it reset? Yes, it's good. Let me just go to uh, settings, uh, accounts, and then I go to liked. Post to liked. You see this first one? You can see like, the reason why I like this one, the reason why I say I like this one is because yeah, there's something distracting in the background, but she's the main focus. She's like zoomed in on her. They've zoomed in on her and the light is on her. You can see there's a veneer around her. So she like you look at this and immediately you see her. There's no issue with that, right? But then somebody else did their own. This one. Like the light is on her, but it still feels distracting because it's not really zoomed in on her. But it's actually also pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So I gave the first one uh, 8 and I'm giving this one 7.2 Just because I prefer the composition of the first one And this violin doesn't look legit How is it standing? How is it like? Is it on a stand? Like, I don't know But yeah, that's the trend guys And I, like I said I was going to try it out Self-portrait so I'm going to do a self-portrait of myself. I'll cut myself out, put myself in front of a background like this, and then edit it. Yeah. Um, like it pains me that all the other images we've gone through, I can't show them here because it didn't. Oh <laughs> god. Anyhow, first mistake. This won't happen again. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, that's been everything guys. Thanks for Follow me along. Like I said, if you have particular images that you want to talk about, just drop it in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think. I want to see what you guys think about what I did. If you have your own images, you can send them to me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Yeshua underscore Omi. And yeah, it's me. me. Uh -huh. I said I was going to do self portraits of this type of thing. It's probably like a trend that is trying to start and I'm going to jump on that wave. So if you guys want to see, maybe not this particular self portrait or another self portrait, you want to see how I do it, and check out my Instagram page. Almost everything there is shot by me. Even the ones of me who are shot by me because obviously self portrait. But yeah, if you want to see how I do them, let me let me know in the description below. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Keep it real. I was about to say peace. <laughs> Keep it real and peace.